First day of school is just hours away for many Minnesota kids. For some, that means buses and lockers. For others, laptops and living rooms. Getting the kinks out of the distance learning technology is the key. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield has some tips on getting your devices in top school form. Hello. The irony of doing a story on internet failure. Well, this is so, so relevant, right? <laughs> this year, we've all had some moments while dealing with technology. Hello. Hi. I'm sorry, that's going to be a thing. In fact, Hopkins mom, Danica Leonard, just had one of those moments. We were just actually having a meeting with our son's teacher, and because my son did not uh, charge it last night, in the middle of the meeting, it cut off. She plans to make sure devices charge overnight in her house, but some issues are more complicated. Her kindergartner and fifth grader start hybrid learning. She and her husband work this from home. Really Whatever our internet package is, like, we are definitely going to have to figure out how to increase that and if that needs to change and if we can afford it, honestly. Turns out there may be some ways around that. Is there a good way to maximize your bandwidth without spending more money? We talked with a Comcast tech expert who says one big way to help the connection is by plugging the Ethernet cable from the modem directly into your laptop. The less devices you can have on wireless and you can turn over to that hard connection, the, you know, the better performance you'll see in general. Those are the details he suggests figuring out before school starts. And he says you can begin with the placement of your modem. If you have a, a main level a living room space that you can put that device in um, and, and have it line of sight so that you can actually see it, that's really going to help the Wi-Fi performance. And make sure the modem and router are reset regularly. And that is as simple um, as a lot of the time unplugging the power cord to the back of it, you know, waiting about 30 seconds and plugging it back in. And he says to do a speed test, which you can do through a free Google search. On average, you'll want three to five megabytes more if you stream 4K video. As for the Leonards, for now, they're staggering device time, getting ready for hybrid learning, but preparing for the possibility of another quarantine. Which is stressful, but I think that's the reality. Be ready for anything. 2020 for you. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. For more tips on rebooting and optimizing internet performance and information on how low income families can get help paying for internet, we've got that information on WCCO.com links.